Hello, my name is Stefan Ringeschwander, I'm a colorist from Germany and welcome to my channel. In this video I want to introduce you to my website mononotes.com and talk about loop recreations. I remember there was a discussion on the topic in the Lift Gamma and Gain forum, how the look of Midnight in Paris was created and Joan Malera jumped in and he recreated the look of Midnight in Paris in DaVinci Resolve, which looks amazing. I got more and more interested in this idea of recreating a look and it ended up me creating a website on this topic with some additional points of views. So here's the challenge. Um, for recreating a look of a movie it's very important to understand that most of the look of a film is happening in camera on set through production design, art direction, costume design, set decoration, makeup and so on. So it is very important to find images that are close to the original film and I thought the closest you can get are images from behind the scenes. I started watching a lot of DVD extras material and was searching for images which are similar to scenes from the movie. Those images are often taken by video cameras, DSLRs, smartphones, so the colors, the dynamic range and so on is very different and limited compared to the images that are captured by cinema cameras. Um, but as I said, the production design, the art direction, the lighting, costumes, makeup and so on, it is all there. Uh, let's move on and let's uh, talk about my approach of recreating the look. I'm not using any color space transformation um, to get the stills back to our Relog C for example. Also I'm not using any print film emulation LUTs. Uh, for this project I decided to go straight from image A, which are um, behind the scenes images, to image B, the final look. On my website you can find more information about this decision. So let's take a look at my note tree. My rule is to keep it simple, minimal and clean. I want to use the minimum amount of controls to get to the final look. So mainly I'm using only four notes. Um, the first note is offset printer lights to change the RGB values and adjust the exposure. The second note is for contrast and pivot adjustments and the third note is to adjust the saturation. Fourth note is for lift gamma and gain to match shadows, midtones and highlights. Why I think this site can be helpful. Over the last years I've seen more and more people trying to recreate popular film looks on YouTube via online courses using all kinds of different approaches. I've seen colorists creating huge note trees, I've seen people using qualifiers for skin tones for highlights, um, using a lot of masks, um, people who are using film emulation plugins, film emulation LUTs and so on. But if you listen to directors of photography podcasts um, or colorists who actually work on Hollywood movies and they've been asked how they created a look, you might hear something like we're just using a Kodak print film emulation LUT or we balance the shot using printer lights, we warmed up the image, we reduced the blue, so often very little adjustments to the image. So this website um, and the idea of this website, it started as an experiment. I wanted to see how close you can get to the look without using a huge notary, without using qualifiers, uh, without using LUTs or any plugins. So there was no place where you can watch um, behind the scenes footage side by side with images from the original film. And I think for a colorist it is very important first to observe what is going on. And the job of a colorist is to understand the story and enhance and complement the images which are taken uh, which were taken by the DOP. Secondly, the website shows my personal approach of look recreation of those movies. And my goal was not to get every single color 100% right, and because the movie is already made. I just wanted to get into the ballpark and keep the notary as minimal and clean as possible. So have fun discovering the website. Um, the link is in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to comment and see you next time.